moja yeah. with the constitution of 2010 ugunja we are separate from Uge, ugenya mm. divided by rivanzoia so what the other side towards busia ni ugenya yeah. sisi watu tulibaki pa nyingine tumeshikana na game yes. tukakuwa tu ugunja Ah. Yeah, so Gunja, then um, uh, I come from a place called Uholo. Uholo. Uholo East. Apo karibu na Kayombi. Kayombi ni Ambira the other side. Yeah, Ambira the other side. Eh, yeah, yeah, ni huko Gunja. Gunja is pande kama unataka kuchukua njia kwa na Buteri. Ah, yes. Eh, Sigomre yeah, Sigomre hiyo. Mimi, mimi zani mtwa Sigomre. Ah, wewe ni wa Sigomre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mimi napita hapo hii ya kwenda Kayombi ukwala. Oh, unapanda ukwala ukipanda huko Siranga huko juu. Yeah, yeah. Siranga ndio oh. center yangu. Siranga ndio center. Sasa yeah. mimi huko ni kwa mama mzazi. Mama eh, mama mzazi kwa wow. eh. Okay. Ka, uli, kum, unakumbuka incident ilifanyika ya um, ya wezi ya waka uwa sa maskaris askaris, actually yeah. I lost one of the uncles hapo ah. yeah, so hapo tu wanatoka tu hapo 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 tu siranga ala yeah. that's my main center that's where we shop everything na yoro kuna joni ndogo watu wugenya na wugenya tu meja huku sana ok that's interesting so you come from that side mm. when did you find yourself in kibra uh, kibra mi nimekuwa hapa tangu kitambo sana so um, nilisoma hapa hapa no, nimezaliwa siaya mm-hmm. nikakuja hapa hivi Nairobi at the age of 2 years yeah. nikaanza baby class nursery pre unit na certain school hapa katika kile kinaitwa malezi malezi eh, kitambo yeah. basi ile malezi tunajua saa hizi mm-hmm. kuna malezi ilikuwa pale karibu na baraka za Ibrahim mm-hmm. karibu na hiyo kona hapo kwa Jalife sisi kama unajua hiyo kona vizuri yeah. so kuna ka kanisa inakuwa hapo mm-hmm. on your left to be fourth kike kwa hiyo kona yeah. that's why there used to be a school inaitwa malezi ilikuwa ah. baby class nursery pre unit Mm-hmm. Tuko na tunasoma kwa hall imepartitioniwa tuna curtains. Mm-hmm. So sometimes kwa hapo hivi baby class amu ku pre unit. Tikia na kuzaswali ukishindwa kujibu na jibu nyume sikia mwalimu wa baby class. Wewe <laughs> unasikia maswali 1 plus 1 uko na umeuliza 11 plus yenga ujui. Yeah. <laughs> jibu <laughs> ile nyingine. <laughs> yeah, so nikaka hapo hivi kidogo then um babangu alizo one man kwao mm-hmm. so wakati the mom died so ile bidi mimi na mom mm-hmm. no sasa now my mom hapa tutoke Nairobi mm-hmm. to rebuild the country side to kakai huko so nikarudi huko class 1 to class 6 okay then to Nairobi huko sababu ya ugonjwa nilikuwa nakamkutibiwa hapa hivi Nairobi mm-hmm. but uh, matibabu ika take some time so ikabidi nime join shule hapa Nairobi mm-hmm. um, Nazarene primary school yeah, mimi ni mtu very proud of that school nime nimetoa mbali sana Nazari, so nikafanya pale soweto so hapo tu chini ya subra ukivuka yeah, ile uko chini so nikasoma pale um, class 6 third term class 7 class 8 mm-hmm. Sasa from there I went to Maranda High School. Mm-hmm. Nikalemewa school fees at the end of uh, year one. Mm-hmm. Unajua zile zenye school fees ziko anga regulated. Unakumbuka sasa hizo unajua matianyi magoa wamefanya school fees na chezetu 5360. Kuna zile zenye national school unapata maybe at na gonga 110. Mm-hmm. Shule nyingine na charge 90 then shule nyingine na charge 50. Yeah. So ile mwa huko ni Karuna Nairobi ni kamalizia Parklands. Unamalizia Parklands. Parklands boys Nairobi. You must have been a very sharp boy. Ndio ufike Maranda. Ah, uh, sio tunaenda shule wangu sababu ya mask well. Eh? Yeah, yeah nili perform vizuri. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, ukarudi kumalizia hapa Parklands. Nirudi kumalizia Parklands Boys High School. Okay. Mm. And then from Parklands Boys High School mimi nikaenda um, Presbyterian University. Mm. Uh, nilienda huko na scholarship, but hata scholarship nilipata hata before nifanye KCC. Ah. Ilikuwa leadership ya vitu kwetu tunafanya by that time. Okay. Um, but ku join huko kwa kuwa na mambo mm. nikapewa uh, uh, 1000 academic days off kwa sababu uh, led some strikes which today I do say mm. were very important mm. you yeah. led a strike were very important yeah. um, if you ever remember the scandal ya presbyterian university offering courses which were not accredited mm-hmm. so as well kwa na offer law mm. na offer mass communication na offer courses in, and all most of these courses were not accredited mm. so when we started asking registrar nani wakatuambia ni aje be very careful you kwa kuna scholarship nimwambia hapana mm. hata kama tuko on scholarship but we need to know what is happening yeah. vituko 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 mimi nikachujwa shule Hello. but because i had grades that could take me to any university mm. i mean kasema ni sawa al president you switched yeah nika switch na university mm-hmm. riara university again nikamaliza lo Okay. Yeah. Ukasomea law huko Riara. Yeah, ndio nimalizia. Wewe unatoka Nairobi? Nairobi yeah, nitoka again for scholarship to Riara. Ah, okay. Yeah. You got another scholarship. Another scholarship to Riara. Wow. Yeah. Scholarships were just following you. Uh, <laughs> no, I think because sometimes people who get exposed vizuri na unajipata tu kwa places zingine zenye. Mm. Maybe to favors come also to the direction ya mtu mwenye pia anajituma sana. Yeah. Mm. Wow. 
Interesting. So who is Opondo in a nutshell? How would you describe yourself? Opondo ni Kenyan. Kenya. Mwenye anabambika sana kukua mkenya. Yeah. Kukua mwafrika. Yeah. Proud of my roots as a Luo. I'm a mixed uh, Luo Giriyama. Oh. Um, na, na Your friends. mother is a Giriyama? Um, wazazi wake. Okay. Walikuwa wa Giriyama but walisi ya Tuluko. Oh yeah. Uh, so baba na isa na ini mjaluo fully. Mm. Uh, so I'm very proud of who I am. Mm. I'm proud of uh, being born in a country, country nyikuna hizi challenges zote. Mm. In a community nyikuna hizi challenges zote because Mini kiangalia musema challenges make people strong. Yeah. Challenges make us be able to start thinking better. Um, I would really have felt bad ningezali wa country mez ime koma zaidi. Mm. Ama country tuwezese mwa country ime stawi. Because singa kuwa na ilo putu ni ya kuona yani life vili na yona sa hizi. Yeah. Because kuzi whenever I move around yana unanga to this one should be done hivi. Yeah. This one should be done hivi. You see to solutions. Kia. I go to schools na una watoto wameka kwa class. The jambi yunga pana, not in this modern world, watu unafaa kukua crowded in classes hivi. Mm. Watu unafaa kukua class hivi, kuna vumbi, watu unafaa kukua class hivi, kwa hivi, sindio. Mm. So, to me, every day is just a learning day, interacting with people, amazing people like you, kwa mfano, because mm. unajua, channel kama hii yako, mm. any nile channel inye, you are giving us an opportunity which other mainstream media mm. hainge tupatia. Thanks. You know, people cannot keep listening to story ya kibera kila mara ke ETN, Citizen, and TV, isn't it? Yeah. But this is now a place where we can come together na tuendele kuongea. And then kwa shuwara kitu kama inakama because of the challenges in this community, yeah. isn't it? Mm. So in brief, Opondo is just a Kenyan, an African, mm. a very proud Kenyan mwenye na bambika tuku kwa vile yuko wapa Kenya. Who is very proud. Mm. Many people blame Luos for being too proud. Mm. Are you concerned that sometimes you feel too proud? I don't think we should be blamed for that. Yeah. Luos should never be blamed for that. Yeah. You know, people's cultures in a determine who, but just even, how people even are. Even not all Luos are mm. proud. I exactly. know some Luos who are not proud. Exactly. And, and I think people kitu pia natokana na kitu mejie care. You know, some people are not proud of Mtu wako proud ukumbe wendi yourself is in yako yuko jini. Yeah. So kwa mpano, <laughs> let me ask you saizi. Yeah. Saizi sunarun um, sisi mtani, yeah. Kibera News Network. Yes. Ukenda pale nje useme, mm. you own a media station or you are part of a media station in Kibera. Are you bragging or it is the you truth? You feel proud about it. It is the truth. Yeah, the truth. <laughs> Mtu saizi ya kitambia kwa nje useme, akona Mercedes Benz na Yeah. Wacha wacha watu wacha kusema ti anajifanya kuna gari. Hajifanyi, akona gari. The truth. It is just the truth. So musema, vile mebu unechukulia. But of course ni makosa, ukitumia whatever you have, kunyanyasa watu wengine ama kutharilisha ama kudunisha binadamu mezako. Yeah, so every community in Kenya wako too proud of something. While Luz wanaonekana wako proud, wanapenda maisha ya juu. Kikuz, we know them, perceptions in their good in businesses. Luyas, we bought the boast of strength. Masai's boast of being warriors. Taitas and Waswahili boast of kujua kupika all manners of food. And I think that will define who we are and we should be proud of it. Who boast? Nani ana boast kwa kujivaa vizuri? Kwa kujivaa vizuri, I think ni mtu mnye kuna pesa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm. So how would you say life in Kibera has been for you? Having lived here for all these years, mm. what are some challenges you've seen and how have you tried to overcome them? Yeah. Um challenges mm. more Joshua. Mm. Yeah. Um number one, Muse Mam Toto Munyamezaliwa pa Kibra. Yeah. Haki ukimuna da kwa newspaper ma kwa TV mada kwa channel kama. Shukuru to um. Yeah. Any ambia to um to manze ni god because mm -hmm. challenges iko mm -hmm. especially mwambie watu wa kibera wa saizi na kama wananisikia and i think they should listen to us mm -hmm. sasa tukiongea hapa hivi yeah. when i did my kcp um, in nazarin yeah. max nilipata watu wa saizi wengi wao wakipata mm -hmm. kuna organization that always available to support to support them unakumbuka kibera in early 2000 hadi hapo up, up mid hadi late 2000 mm -hmm. most of these programs aziku kwa Kupata library likuwa noma Joshua umekuwa hapa. Yeah, yeah. Ya kitamba na this library za kina shofko, wa kina nani, zote ziku kuwa around. Uli kitaka library, you have to walk to community. Yeah. Na pale lazimu uchaji, zuu unapigiri sabi ya kutembe uko, fair na nini. Mm. Scholarship opportunity za ziku kuwa hapa kibera kama squeeze. Squeeze ya di umdota kipata 300, 
Ale si mzazi ya melalisha sana hu. Mm -hmm. Ala 250, mtu na nenda shule. Na zapata support, sindio? Bado kuna CDF. Think of it kama CDF. Mm -hmm. As if it kama kina uweza foundation hapa. Yeah. I mean, mambo mobu sana. So, musema challenges that time ziku tufauti sana. Hii time na juu watu tuwa saizi pia wakuna challenges hao. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as I sema, time yetu, enye mambo ilikuwa mobu sana. Mm -hmm. Class nili somia na zarini wa 35 students. Mm -hmm. Na kwa 35, um, tulikuwa wavla na 17, was chan around 18. Mm -hmm. I keep my first because mimi ni muandishi. I take a lot of stories every yeah. time Niki and Apahali. Yeah. And, so um, 17 boys, 18 girls. 17 boys, 18 girls, making 35. Yeah, class. Yes. Mm. Um, two years later, mm. half of our 18 were like Wazazi, half of the 18 girls. Because you know, we sit in our community, we are going to have Yeah, half of them were like Wazazi, had already given up na masomo, na si wa blame. Yeah. Challenges are maisha hapa hivi mtani na fika point, unasema tu boro, unasurvive. Boro. Half of the 17, mm. Ten years later, I'm not even ten. Five years later, tangu to find this, so that to come as a form four. Yeah. I think around six were like washing gushwa. Is when like in a stupid blacky, big yeah, kisi, yeah. all these people. Eh? Yeah. Ulikuwa na sketu kijana me fanya nini ame chapo bumbulu. And these were your classmates. Wale kuma classmates wetu and we know pinyo me. Pinyo me zikwa tu menda mazishi zingine. Oh. Mazishi is six. Some of them were your close friends. To go from Najuana, some were, I, do, I can't really say close friends, but we were friends. Okay. At least we were people in the Kona Tembeleana, to Nachota Maji, place Moja, to the Mukazilians, the Badu Pier Kona, to keep by Mandazi, to Napangalaini. Because Kuna Mama Flanin, the Julie Kananga Mandazi, the Kindi of Fiti, the Ama Mama Chapo, Pale Kobarabara. So, um, Ilkuna Kapo Kabisa, mm. issues are crime. Mm. These are issues that you really have to fight hard because. Kuna zile nzulu kuna mkasubu na ndashule the things that you see in the morning as a child Enye usipotu kuwa na mtu mwenye na kugaidi vizuru rapote Kuzo napata umeamuka Unafukatu mtaro nasikia jamali uwawa Sa hizo mazoko class 6 In the morning you're heading to school The first thing unaona ni mtu wamekufa Mekatuwa shingo Hapu kwa reli Hapu tu kwanza kandwe olimpika Hapu before yu barabara ifunguliwe vizuri Kulikuwa na mambo mobu sana Pale hivu so weto before the nyumba za reli zijengo na kumbwa vile reli ni place Unikuwa na mbia mtu unavuka reli pa saa tatu siku Mbani mm. mnao majama mba pale Soweto Karibu na Soweto Academy pale yeah. Ama ata darajani na kumbu kizo story kitambo mm. Basa hizi musema Kibera ime change Hizo mm. challenges tulipitia tulipiti, Sizi sema zime change because of mimi Ama because of where But ime change because of all of us mm. yeah, Because tunendelea kuongele hizi challenges Vijana wanelea kuzijua Government is a good take up. Mm. More leaders are coming into space. Some of yeah. them see more kuwana siasa. True. Says kuna leaders cutting across while my activists when run more organizations up a pale mm. wanna put a new hope in life na challenges me as in a fight you say. Naz yo shule yako na nazarin. Nazarin, yeah. Bado iko ama nazarin ni kwa disease. Nazarin ni kwa disease. Do ile barabara ime affect kidogo ni so jo pale kando ya reli mm. kuna ile barabara inatoka corner club. Yeah. Kiteramuka ikipita yeah, ndani ya katuwa kire kile kia shofu kwa uko chini. Imeguza. Ya, yeah, ilifanya shule kafinyo ndani kidogo. So mostly ili affect our playing field. Mm -hmm. Na nikisema playing field said it wana kiwanja. <laughs> you know, like a small open space in your time. Tukitoka, yeah, unapiga yeah, kitu yote yeah. unaona karibu. Ni kasuku tunapepeta, ni mpira tunapepeta. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, so hiyo kiwanja. Hapo tu nyuma shule kidogo ilikuwa affected. Mm -hmm. Kafinyika kidogo, chozi kabomolewa. Ya. Yeah. But at least shule bado iku. Bado iku inaendelea. Ya. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So how did you overcome all these challenges? How did you survive? Like your friends, the people you went to school, mm. were killed, died. Uh, the girls you, you studied with got pregnant, became mothers, and mm. were still going strong. Mm -hmm. How did you manage that? I think there also, when you're back, what we are going strong, and we are all strong just in our different things that we are doing. Mm. Maybe to we let me take different paths in life. Yeah. Um, I'm always so proud of Wale when you pata. Ali toka hapo, becoming a mother at an, a young age, mm. but badai, aka bounce back, yeah. aka jirudisha shule na right now, kuna mmoja na ni journalist, mm. very proud and naza kupigi story yaki, so open na kumbi, ili kuanga hivi na nika bounce back na saizi, yeah. niko hivi, kuna wenye padu pia unawalingia walingia kwa community work na nina nini, wako tufiti kabisa. Yeah. I can't really say how did I overcome the challenges, mm. but maybe how am I overcoming, because I think, as long as bado tuko party hii community na ndio still alive mm. sometimes kuna zile chance kuna deal nazo za individual kitambo sasa hizo zina deal nazo indirectly because maybe you have a brother yeah. a sister or a neighbor or a friend 
mwenye mtoto wake anasoma ama mwenye sisi yako ama bro wako anasoma mm. na through yeye bado ndio na zile channel and you have to keep on dealing with them yeah. so i think um, I, i must say that i had a very good father yeah uh, me babang was always there for me mm. na is still there no no the past 2016 past. and yeah. your mom you said my mom yuko okay yeah. so your dad is the one that passed yes it's 2016 okay so na pia li pass tu kwa zile vitu zenye muse masinge itaka tena damu tu pia pass mm. no my dad aliko na tb yeah na you know how sometimes tracking certain diseases hapo hivi mtani ni no man da sometimes even maybe unaambia wazazi eh twende vitu kama hizi check up you know yeah. bado so many parents are also still resistant, resistant. to that certain resistant. things ama maybe akikohoa kidogo anasema ah, ah in acha, normal hii ni normal acha ni meza dawa fulani mtu akimuona kichwa kidogo hii normal mm. kumbe una suppress tu ugonjwa na siku moja nalipuka then ina kama kupatikana at a very late stage yeah. so dad had pass but anyway um says so nikiangalia ni my dad mm jicho kuna alama zingine niko nazo kwa mgongo yangu mm. za manyororo mm. zenye musema every time i touch them i look back and i do say i'm so proud of my father alikupanish ama vibaya sana oh <laughs> vibaya sana because unajua you kuna know, <laughs> that was it been so brutal yeah it was brutal but, uh, it was so zikin. brutal the uh-huh. things that we used to do mimi kwa na marafiki wangu tukiwa hapo class 6 class 7 class 8 mm. i know maybe alikuwa to me excessive force yeah. but i don't think bila your force ingekuwa in body okay ukweli ukweli so in your teenage you were like that a notorious boy or what because you see too of the environment yeah. unajua buda anaenda job kila 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 i mean kila mtu around you mm. ni mtu tu mwenye si, i don't say we are notorious mm. children are just cheeky stuff oh cheeky unakumbuka <laughs> rail education center hapa yeah, yeah. before it jengo hapo vizuri vile iko kulikuwa na ka place fulani hapo hiyo penye kulikuwa na slide hivi kinge kwa maji yeah yeah nabu. so kuna tunaiba mitungi za wase hii ya 5 liters mm. unakata vizuri mm. afu nenda unakalia hapo unajivuruta hadi ile kwa ile maji then tuna move kwa hiyo maji ndio tunapanda and you okay. could do it as many times as well and you know when you are a child it was fun it was fun yeah tunaiba rangi za wase tuna paint t-shirt ya white kwa t-shirt ya black okay. sasa ni saddle na rangi tu watu umeiba tu ni dura coat saddle ni ni yani hizo yeah unapaka tu kwa mwili yako and you don't care unaiba grease unapaka tu kongo yako <laughs> yeah unarudi home sasa na kongana nasema huyu sasa ni mfanyie nini mm. joshua kuna siku nishai chapwa mm. tukiwa nazarini mm ati uji ilikuwa imeletwa ama na mzazi mzazi tu mhm amekuja shule kuchapa yes uji ileletwa kwa class mm-hmm. sisi sasa tunajua sasa ni vitu watu vitu mbaya yeah. tukasema sasa ni aje hii uji sasa uko class 7 uh-huh. tukasema hii uji inanuka umena sana hatutakunywa tukachochana mm. sasa sisi tukakubaliana leo tunamwaga hii uji kwa sababu ya <laughs> sita um, <laughs> nani aka, mtu anasema tunamwaga lakini tujia kikuja tuna stand in solidarity <laughs> sisi tukamwaga uji wote yeah. ticha kukamba na tukageukwa mm. mwalimu wangu alikuwa none other than anaitwa mwalimu wa shika mwalimu wowe oh mwalimu wowe alikuwa na fundisha alikuwa mwalimu wetu nazarini akaenda KG size yuko KG size ya kukarama academy okay. hapa tu olympic So, so he was your teacher back there. Huyo ndiye alikuwa head teacher wangu. Ah okay. 207 akakui 207 2013 na nakumbuka ni mama councilor. Mm. 207 mama councilor Lindy Ward. Yeah. Uh, mwalimu wangu Kiswahili yake eh hey, ungeng'oa hata ngeli kidogo ni kupigo. Mm. Tatu limwaga uji aka akatupiga then akaita babangu. Mm. Babangu akapiga akasema mbona mmoja huwa bado. Ala. <laughs> Wewe unajua the traditional African father yeah. anakuanga mbona bado jeua. Mm so tukachukuliwa tukapelekwa hivi kwa chief olympic mm. kuna chief alikuwa anaitwa chief ouma ouma na mkoboka bana tulichapo tukafunga mikono ushichapo mifura asa naletewa sose jama chipo kule wewe ni vitu unatamani kule lakini tu hizi umu so hii unaletewa sose ndio nini fanyike wana hivi sasa hizo kupima haki sasa umepigwa mwili umefura yote Mm. lakini but, but you see hizo vitu nikiangalia back size mm. those things made us so who we are too since since advocate for ati mtoto apigwe hivyo mm. but i think there are certain circumstances kama unge chapwa hivyo abana abana sidani kama ningekuwa hata sidani kama ningefisha 20 years mm. haki ukweli tu tuambia so you don't advocate watoto wachapwe that design mm-hmm. what do you advocate for them advocate if, that um, that made you who you are today And ah. I know there are still other cheeky kids around. Unajua? Mm. Um mimi semani 
kila uzazi kwa tuna style yake yeah. sio yeah. maybe watoto wakiwa wadogo mm -hmm. wazazi wanze kukuwa friends na wao mm -hmm. unajua times have changed mm -hmm. mtoto wa squeeze you know this is an informational era but yeah watoto wa squeeze kuna mtoto atakuja kukuambia at the age of 5 ama watoto wa squeeze at the age of 3 imagine you can control remote as a switch on tv anachukua phone yako aenda lipi kuna game eh na enda di kwa game anaangalia games ndani anafanya nini Joshua one is the first time you touch a smartphone just recent ada tu hizi kamera zetu tunatumia hapo hivi hawa watoto wa 10 years hizi sasa nataka unaweza sumamisha hapo na ku record vizuri najua kwa kwa kamera umeguza mara kwanza wewe juzi juzi nikiwa mkubwa imagine sasa hawa tu hizi hizi vitu wamezaliwa nazo they can use your phone na hide it from cause phone yako na lock na kuna kitu utafanya si ndio yeah. so mimi naona sasa hizi dunia imechange mm. wazazi maybe sasa waanze ku kuwa more friend to their children yeah. waanze it is no longer okay a son father a daughter mother relationship but pia kukuwa na friendship when necessary yeah. discipline kwa at least ill regulated mm. but na mimi naweza suggest watu wa kuongea mope because now the, even the more you hit a child and are hard and hard Yeah. Leo nazanga na viboko mbili kesho mishipi ashazo ya mishipi yeah. ajua watu ah nikikosa si nimishipi yeah. kama kumi hata nakuja kama meji prepare yeah. Yeah. Na sasa najua tuna mchapa tunahitaisha. Na sasa hizi pia kwa kiumana atakupeleka kwa children's office. Unajua kitambo children were beat communal. Hata tu kitambo hapo hivi kibero ulikuwa unata neighbor could even. Mzazi hata ulikuwa unapata landlord could punish. Yeye anaweza kuuliza eh wewe mtoto wa nani unafanya nini sasa? Sasa hizi wewe chapa tu mtoto wa mtu. Straight children's office. Sasa hizi sherehe nasema my child is always right. Hata walimu na excuse their hands are tied. Mtoto akiwa na kesi na mwalimu the law says the child is always Right. Right. Yeah. Sasa ni hizo ni vitu zinyata size ku deal nazo ni ngumu yeah, even in court <laughs> mm. whatever the child says is imagine. Sasa hizo kuna tu watu wa chiki wenye wasema. Yeah. Mm. So do you think how we raise our kids versus how wazungu raise their kids can be the same? Mm. Bada tujifika. African versus No no bada tujifika hapo Joshua. Mm. Mm. Ukweli usemwe. Mm. Hatujafika hapo. There are things that we need to put in place ndio tufike hapo pinyi. Yeah. Pinyi tunapinyi watafika, si ndio? Mm. Um mtoto wa size a child has energy. Mm. Cutting across a child in Europe, a child in Kibera, a child in Australia wote wako na energy. Yeah. Sawa. So, but sasa ukiangalia countries za wazungu zingi countries zimekomaa sana mm. wako na a way ya ku deal na hiyo energy. Yeah. Ila ya maybe there are theater halls, kuna social halls, kuna playing field, kuna nini. Even yeah. education systems zao mm. zinalao mtoto yote kuji express tu vile anataka. Yeah. Kuna mtoto mwenye maybe ni class ya shiki mao, mm. hashiki English but murushe kwa picha. Mm. Sasa unajua sasa sisi huku system yetu inatulazimishanga tu wote mm. tushike hiyo mao. Yeah. Cause kwa mfano but think of vile kama Olympic primary. Yeah. Let's give a good example. Mm. Wale watoto I think candidates pick out this year should be about 500 to 600 I'm not wrong. How ni watoto how ni class 8 pick out. Hata au tu pick out wakiachiliwa tu ingekuwa ile field yao watachezaje. Olympic primary population ya class 8 na class 7 ni more than Olympic high school. Oh. Na Olympic high school pia wako wengi tu hivyo unaona? Yeah. So ukiangalia okay, now is any maisha ime change sana. Ime change sana. Yeah, so there are things that we have to put in place. Yeah. We have to have a lot of facilities in place for children. I don't know how we are going to do it, mm. but hapo pemu sema leadership and governance must now come into place. So we open up spaces. Watu wa kuna place za kucheza, mm. watu wa kuna place za kuji express ni futana ta kucheza for the weekend ndio hiyo. Kuna kama sasa hizi holiday na kama ya 7 7 weeks. Mm. Unaenda kuona watu wanaenda kuangaika hapa bwana. Wanaona jack ila pahali start thinking differently. Yeah. Kuna time nilienda for a mengine ya parenting. Mm. I think it's some program that was borrowed from abroad. Yeah, yeah. Europe and America. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, documenting this session as a camera person. Mm -hmm. So the kind of things that were being taught there yeah. parenting mm -hmm. class like mm -hmm. how you should deal with your kids talk to them even <laughs> punishment mm -hmm. like that punishment thing should come like the last last option mm -hmm. ah, and I was like oh this can really this can this really happen in Africa mm -hmm. but, okay let's listen <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen this is Okop Opondo himself in the house telling us his own stories in his own perspective mm -hmm. if you have any comments on any questions for him please don't forget to type it under comment section on our YouTube uh, channel or reach us out via WhatsApp 0794590404 and we'll be able to read them out later on.
So Opondo, mm -hmm. you, 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 you run a program where you interview people online. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this program. It's a very interesting something. Yeah, okay. Um, Mimi, Nikiwa Nazarin, yeah. kama kuna kitu moja na kumbuka kabisa, nikuwa napenda debates. Yeah. By the way, Nazarin nikuwa shule ndogo. Lakini mm. nikuwa tunangaisha watu debates hapa ndani. Okay. Eh, kizi dibeza kina spa Africa, dibeza kina nani, tumezi attend kama zinaanzanza sasa. Okay. So, sisi hizo, enzi tukuwa nga Nazarin, kulikuwa na shule kwenye tuwa Jovi Academy. Jovi Academy na mjua. Mwaze Jovi, sijui lienda wapi. Mm. There, was, there used to be... <laughs> Saint um, Saint Cecilia. Saint Cecilia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love you. Saint Bado Pia. We have Saint Aloysius Gonzaga. Pale chini before we pande uko ju. Yeah. Do our court na Pia to na meet because we are all high school. We are all primary school. We are too time to meet. We map those schools. I don't know where they disappeared. Yeah, the schools like just Joey. disappeared too. The dogos, the Jews, the Kenyans. I think it's a demolition. Demolition. Demolition is a fact. Mashimoni squat as a pachini ya kinanani. Yeah. So uh, um, I remember one of the best performers I ever did as a public speaker. Mm. Like to a speech, Raila Education Center Kitengenezwa, mm. and Raila Udinga was there. Okay. And he present a speech. Mm. And akumbuka ni kisimama kani shika tu hivi kani mbie. All the best. Yeah. You know, there are some... Raila. Yes, Raila. He was the guest speaker. Yeah. At Raila Education Center. How many things? Do you need to go and find out about when it was... Groundbreaking. I think so. The primary school. I think the primary ni older kuliko the secondary. Yeah. Yeah, so your primary school too in your body. Because I remember the launching of the secondary, mm. it's not Raila who came, it mm. was uh, the late Keno Court. No, no, so that must have been the uh, ground. The primary school, Kitambo, oh, Kitambo the primary school, ah, okay, okay. primary school. I see. Uh, so, I took a speech pal, so when I went to high school, I was going to go to then I realized that so many people would like to express themselves. Mm -hmm. So when I cleared high school, I was going to program to let our toy to debate. Kutana, kuji express, tukanza pia kuchange format za debate hapa mtani. Mm. Kuna jiwe kwa debate, kuna different formats. Kuna the Kenya parliamentary system, tuna jiwe vile na work. Yeah. Kuna something we call the Douglas system, kuna watatu 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 both sides. Yeah. Kuna ingine tuna the British parliamentary system, kuna watu wanine wanine. Yeah. So tukasema, want to start introducing new formats. Watutu wetu pia wanze kudebate vizuri. Mm. Then we also started introducing new topics and new motions hapa hivi mtani. Because, yeah. mini kuna jiuliza ya manzi, tuko kibera issues ni mob. Mm. Badu wa limu wanambi watutu wa debate a lawyer is better than a farmer, a father is better than a mother. <laughs> so whether we know, is better than a imagine. <laughs> so many other people are yeah. let's start talking about crime. Hmm. Better housing, hmm. unajua. Hmm. Um, the real issues. The real issues are here. Mtoto akitokanga na pita na zakuambia. By the way, hmm. ile mtaro ikibomo kanga hivi, ina mwaganga maji kwenye mba zetu. We can start talk about even environmental conservation na watu hii. Hmm. No, sometimes tunangalenga watu tuwe tuwe baza. Haba na watu tu are intelligent. Hapa ndani? Yeah. How do we now could be two kunje when Guinea to me and I outside the country? Hmm. One of your feet is on. Okay. So, I mean, I say, okay, fine. Um, mind check a song up pole pole, then I can be here now and I can consider a platform. Hmm. You have to let leaders, the young people, yeah, not to let a bill a little political, little psychophancy. It was a same. Raila Odinga ama William Ruto ama Uhuru Kenyatta ka pale. Mm. 30 young people. Mm. Atutaki self na wewe self tupige tukimalize. Mm. Tuambiane tu kweli. Yeah. Na tusi na hapo common common young people see how see how young people yukisenga young people wa meet kwa meeting mm -hmm. ni wana siasa wana recruit yeah. watu wenye kifika pale Joshua akisema hili hey, wana shout jina yake hapana yeah. randomly picked. Mm. Za tutembea kama kuna na mambi jamaa kuna you have like 3 hours this afternoon come to nine for a plan. Yeah. Unajua kwa mipangia, then ajui tunaenda wapi. Mm. Kifika pali na pala nata kama ni the late Kiano Koth kwa mfano. Yeah. Ama ata kama ni Mran, the current one. Ama ata kama ni governor wa Nairobi ama senator. Tuchapia ni tupale one on one. Yeah. One thing kuja kulani ni. Tuambia ni ukweli. Tuambia ni ukweli. Mm. Then pia nataka kutuwa ile notion ya leaders masolu we sit on the high table. Yeah. Na the young people kazi yetu ni kuraise our hands. Mm. Na kuliza maswali. Mm. We want it to get to a point where leaders also raise their hands. Yeah. Because sometimes solutions are yeah. also with the young people. But you are, mm. Issues come like mental health, say, and the depression. I've been able to learn more than our leaders. Yeah. So, my time leaders, we have to learn more than our leaders. Then, what I have to recommend, you are, depression is not the issue. The cause ni One, joblessness. Two, three, yeah. Tunataka job. Nasi tu job, nataka job, nyikuna decent pay. Mm. Inza fanya ni liparent. 
nipeleke mtoi shule niende mm. hosi ni kule ni save kidogo na vitu kama hizo yeah. so hizo zile discussions zimeenda nataka tuendelee ku encourage mm. young people wa jue they also have solutions and not questions only yeah yana leaders the, peer leaders vice versa yes and ask questions, and ask questions. so covid came uh, covid na ifanya around the counties mm. uh, around uh, kenya in different yeah. counties yeah. now covid ka come so tukirudisha zoom yeah yeah so tunafanya ngatu pale zoom we get a leader from pastor to and this kwa takubali mm tumwambie hey, kama last time we were hosting justice will mutunga yeah tukamwambia from wherever you are hebu tuambie to house activism during your time yeah mbona mnashinda mkisema vijana wa siku hizi wamelegea nyinyi na of which can realize to some point kuna kau kweli fulani lakini mm. kuna reasons pia behind it yeah. ukiangalia we are told kibaki became a minister at the age of 20 something mm. tomboya was the city chairman of an all pan african conference at the age of 29 mm. um uh, orengo at the age of 22 alikuwa ameanza kusumbuana na moi yeah. raila odinga in his 30s was somebody then somebody tells you us? sisi at our 20 <laughs> sisi ni whatsapp group admin facebook group pages admin yeah, and everything around so the issue ni nini ya tupati right so we sat down with mutunga tukamwambia nini ya tupati right the truth is things have changed bro mm. it is me change akina raila ongepigania freedom of speech mm. sijui sasa sisi hiyo najua tunangangana tujue tunataka kupigania nini. Yeah. Ukijaribu hivi kidogo hata sasa hizi ukisimama hapo hiyo mtani sasa unataka kufaitia kitu fulani, wewe yeah. umelipwa. <laughs> yeah. Sijui tetee nani, wewe yeah. sijui umelipwa. So, <laughs> so I think we're still struggling and that's the space we are trying to create. Okay. Mm. We're struggling over so many issues. It's true. Wow. So many issues yeah. So how is your program doing? Mm. Zoom, I see you hosting different people, mm. so many interesting uh, people. Sometimes mm. I I watch it. Mm. But how is it? Uh, is the response good? Are people cooperating well? Is it giving you what you expected? Yes, um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. No, because bad on a jua, um, for, for people to tune in yeah. to watch something live, yeah. the issue of data, data also yeah. comes to play in. True, yeah. yeah, so come on, confound something, maybe you may think that what you've learned here, watch, confound, come on, show to na fine. Yeah, yeah. Mutuan get a money, son. But maybe you could buy data, maybe need 50 book. Yes, yeah. To a young person, mommy, say, when you're on a job. E50 bob says you can get here at at a ficker be younger. Yeah. So the question is should I buy data or I watch show maziwa. Ama ni buy maziwa at here ni kunyo, isn't it? Ama ata maybe ni buy viazi ni pick viazi ya 50 ni mob kidogo, there's a picker ni kule breakfast, maybe lunch na sapa. So that is a bit challenging. Yeah, especially wase kupata data na kuanza ku watch vitu tunataka tu watch. But pole pole we are growing. You know the thing I like about Kenya ni we are also among zile country leading ni internet penetration across the country. Sometimes I feel happy tunachapa show then jamaa anakuambia pondo mimi nani nani natoka load wa Turkana. Yeah. You know it feels so nice because load wa Yeah, imagine. No trukana ukiza tu mtoto wa Nairobi. Unajua trukana eh peni watu na kufanga njaa. Yeah. Ah unajua Garissa eh peni kunanga maji na kuna terrorism. And that person watching. And that person watching. It means things are encouraging. Opening kidogo kidogo. Kenyans are very resilient people. I like that about them. So we have to keep going. Unaangalia kama ile ya COVID vile wasema handle these situations zote kama hivi kibera. People came together doing food drive, doing nini. Oh, sije tu tuwezi afford a mask. Ai watu washaanza kushona zao na vitenge. Sijio sanitizers, sabuni, watu wanaanza kutengeneza zao. And I like that about points in awekwa. And you know some I like being born in Kenya. Our challenges make us creative. True. Mm. Wow. Tell me about your political ambition. Mm -hmm. you, you you vied last elections, yeah? Yeah, you in 2019 by a, election. By election. Yes. You wanted to take over. To represent this constituency in the National Assembly. Constituency. Yes, What that, happened? Um, of course, politics is on a side zaki zote. I will join the as an independent candidate. No, yeah. you are by election time na kunga kidogo sana hata ya kujisel kwa wase or even to join a party na uji market ndani vizuri mm. but i just wanted to see myself to the final day yeah. pale pinyi tunangalia tunasema iku fit yani najua vile ina feel yeah. we were 24 candidates 24 seven independent 17 with with political parties yeah yeah so um mimi nilikuwa number five number five number five out of the Overland. 24 Wow. Yes. And I, I even think I was the youngest candidate for your race. Yeah. Yeah, because if I took a man I like I could turn 26. Hmm. Number five, you did so well. I did so well. Yeah. Number How one. How many votes did you get? I got, I think, uh, close to 200 votes. 200. Hmm. But I do tell people, sometimes, when you're going to say, was the race worth 200 votes? Yeah. But more than say, Ebu, imagine, a hundred and something people, yeah. waliamuka morning. Yeah. 
wakaja shughuli zote believing in you Joshua. Haki hiyo ni kitu moja usiwahi take for granted. Pigia okoto pondo. Yeah, hiyo ni kitu moja usiwahi take for granted at all. Yeah. While we had people pouring money from you DM walikuwa na ile muscle. Eh, hey, you remember Mariga? Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, nani anaitwa Eliud Walo na Musalem wow. David. Yeah. So all these five Akina people run with the Baba support. All of the five mm -hmm. with only people reach 100 votes and above. Okay. Number 1 to number 5. Mm -hmm. Na mimi ni campaign na pesa ingine muambi wa sata you can't even believe me. Sama mimi sata kwa nambia ni aje, na tatu kukwakia posta ya suku pandeza line zaba. Yeah. Ni tumetu design ya posta. Na wana print peke wala, na wana time wana print kwa hii pepa normal ya saiba. Yeah. Unajua yu, mimi yu ndi opini ingataka polisi ya Kenya yanze kuelekea. Mm -hmm. Polisi ya nye ni kama ni Joshua memuwa kukontest. Yeah. Mimi kama opono na believe kwa Joshua, I take over. Ideology. We are, now we are investing in you so that ukishinda, mm -hmm. usuwe jaribu wapa kutukunye nyasa, tuwakambia boss. Tunajunga yeah. viruli campaign. Yeah. What we are demanding from you, tukuwa kuliza pesa. Mm. What we are demanding from you is just services, man. Wow. To put it to ina, 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 you know, So, while uh, Imran had his party leader, Raila Odinga, yeah. um, Mariga, Mariga had uh, yeah. William yeah. Ruto, mm -hmm. number three, Owalo had Mudavadi, Mudavadi. number four, Butichi had uh, Moses Wetangula. Yeah. I just had the people. You had the people? Yes, the people. <laughs> <laughs> That's congratulations. <laughs> you really try. Are you going to buy again? This not in around? this coming election. Mm -hmm. Not in this coming election because um, not that I'm chicken in out, mm -hmm. but I think peer police ni poor peer could take time kujipanga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, politics is a game you need to calculate well. Yeah. And uh, peer na wananga kuna different ways to serve a community mm -hmm. and even to reach masses. Yeah. Um, I still have an agenda that I want to achieve. Okay. Uh, unatu, unatu kama what you are doing right now, you are serving this community. Yeah. You are giving us opportunity to talk to people, you are yeah. giving people opportunity to listen to some brains, maybe the other tower, maybe at our Jai Skia, and are very nice people. Mm -hmm. So, me, I would like to take part of the civic education, and we need to open up space. Mm -hmm. We try to see if we can get into empowerment. Then when the Another time comes and you feel mm. na taka and tayi rudi kwa watu. Mm. Na kama pia time you feel and you feel kuna rafiki yangu flani na taka na understand better chances than me. So then tuna support uwe jamana. Yeah. Akue mpi wetu ya. Yeah. Mm. Your English is so fluent and I know you are a debating person and you are still doing this public speaking thing. Mm -hmm. How much have you traveled? Mm. <laughs> this is an interesting question. Okay, I nilemo kujituma sometimes back. Then yeah. I gave myself a promise that before nifike age 26, ni kwa ndaka tu ni kuwe ni mekanyagara kama tu ni five countries peke yake. Yeah. Of which I nili achieve, but nili achieve pia through. Ile tu na mnakatu wako mna jambia, hey, but nili tenge. Nili apply passport ni kwa nae na sijai kanyagayuga. Uganda si ni... Every time I buy a kidogo, I go to passport. Every time I get a stamp, I go. You know, I go to the market and I buy a Second time, I go to the bus station. I go to Nairobi, to Juba. I go to Nairobi on Friday evening. Me too. I'm a rafiki. I'm not going to marry a rafiki. I'm crazy, crazy too. Ah, okay. What is that? I'm going to say, Mama Jama. Si leo tutembee ni tuwadi ya tangongi. Tutembee tu wata for 10 kilometers ama 20 kilometers. Ok. Yeah, because mupe na tu sometimes and that's... How many are you? It's my rafi kitu, maybe tu wanine watano. Inatengemea tu mepatana nani. Sometimes you meet someone wanakumbia na penda tu kutembee. Unasema, ok, tutembee. Mi na penda kukimbia. Kama mi baidai, mi na kimbia sana. I do a lot of running. Kama marathon. The morning. Yes, morning na pizi tu marathon za kina stand chart. Oh, you do those also. Yeah. Ok. So, there's a time tutoka Nairobi. Hmm. Tukenda di Juba by bus. Oh. Tukenda Nairobi sa Friday jioni, tukafika Juba sa Sunday jioni. Mm. Nilikuwa safari tamu. Okay. So Nairobi all mm. the way to Busia, then to, to Uganda, then tukapanda na Juba because ukujua tuwezi pita juu ya Kenya. Mm. Kusabizi vita. So tulenda di Uganda, then tukapanda na River Nile. With your friends? Yeah, yes, with friends, yeah. Okay. So tunasema hata kama tupane, tu, tujange tu pesa tukwena fair. Mm. Tuenduna ibasi. Mm. Hata kuna place ya kulala, tufike na hii basi, then tupige na hii uta. Ala? Na tunat... <laughs> <laughs> na mkafika juba. Na tukarudi. It gives you also an opportunity just to meet people. Chapa yuta. Tulifika, mm. jioni, mm. tukalala the following day, tukakatu wapu kwa yos, uh, tukatu uletu 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 u
Ah, okay. mm. So kuna Mombasa suenda na yes. Nairobi to Juba. Kuna Mombasa Juba. Oh, Mombasa Juba. Eh, Mombasa na stop Nairobi hivyo hivyo ikienda. Ah. We've done also pia na some friends up hivyo tuitu hapa Kibera. Mm. Tumetoka na hapa hivyo all the way to Kigali. Kigali. 26 hours. Wow. Na tuli challenge tuli changa pesa for around 7 months. Mm. Through wazazi na nini. Tukena tu by bus modern coast akina like mash cool. Si zote zinenda Kigali. Mm. Na tukafika, tukafanya activities, tukatendio, cleaning program yao, yeah. tukona barabara. Unajua Rwanda inasifika sana. Yeah. Na tukarudi. To in and all <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Wow. So you've been to Juba, Rwanda, where else? Uganda? Nime kwa UG. At Africa nimeenda 16 mm. nations. Wow. Europe, I think nimeenda country sita. Okay. Asia nimeenda, I think, around nine. Where have you been in Europe? Nimeenda Germany, France. Okay. Belgium, mm -hmm. na, I think na Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Which one would you say was your favorite? Me ni lipenda Germany sana because Germany. you know these people are perfectionists. Yeah. Yeah. Unaji ukenda uko. I got an opportunity. You ni lenda za governance pro. Ilikuwa governance program. Yeah. So ni lenda tukua na kwa hosi na Angela Merkel. Mm. So. One of the treats to Lipewa to Lipewa kuna 2016. Yeah. Gave me a Bayern Munich versus Wolfsburg. Wow. wow. Daniel Leon's arena. Yeah. Was it that thing? Yani, <laughs> you change mind. Unaingia stadium from outside nji na kakama ball moja round. Yeah. Unaingia ndani, yani unangaleo sama wa, <laughs> ni metoka wa. Nice. Najosa sisi wow. tu nangana hapa na Woodley. <laughs> Kwa hivyo Woodley jangeneze tui kwa stadi. Tui mangangana, pano unaingia stadium zima. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Hmm? Kila mtu ni Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Alap. What I could tell you, the way they are very proud. Yeah. They'll tell you, you know, come easy, my citizen, you're on a jiring, and as a PV Kenyans, you want to see us. Yeah. Isn't your taxi, man? Isn't your taxi? Isn't your? Yeah. Be any Magarizil, Kalikal, and you also want to take another. And you're not New York. Mama City is my best, they're my taxi. Gariza, oh, you're dead. You see me? I'm just saying, you're going to come be any, Nelly Penajaman, because they are perfectionists. They believe killer to Ukifanya, if Fanny Vizuri, Ukita Mutu, Kupaki, Numba Rangi, Isipo Irangis, Popa, or Balan. Sata kama ni kona moja, hau lipi? Okay. Kwa yusene ni kitu moja, karakta moja muse ya makama tuneza kuwa na ayo, tutasonga mm. mbele. Mm. Kulikoe mambo ya timu tu wana kuambia na kufanya kitu ya ni kama ni favor. Na unalipia? Mm. Ujo, ni kilipia kitu bana kufanya tu job fit. Sinto Joshua? True. Yeah, so I think hizo ni vitu, hiyo mediocrity mingi ya kuna. Wow. Mm. Asia ulikuwa countries gani? Asia nimekuwa China na India. China na India. Mm. Okay. India, where were you in India? Nilenda Mumbai, Delhi, then nikenda Sifra ni itua. Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. Oh, yeah. I think the most populous. Mm. It has time in Lukoko, it has 232 million people one state. Then you come to Kenya, Tano. Yeah. Sindio. Yeah. You come to Kenya, Nene, Na. Too populated. Too populated. Na kumani kwa Delhi, mazadi mto na kumbi ni shikilia tu mzako mukolo because Joshua tu kipodele na kibao. New Delhi, New Delhi is also. Uta shinda na mukolo wa watu. Alafu sasa India kitu moja interesting ni. Mambo hizo hooting. Mm. Pee, 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 yeah. So let me tell you, Joshua, every time that something I'm moving up over a long, long road, the longer we are going, we are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the and on Bomba Pesa, and some of these kids that we forty eleven by doing it at Wakotuna was as the Kabisa, and was at our Juanga every two, or Madame Wato to Wakoapi, among Guinea Pia one. Those moments when you pull down Sana because Mujambia as a nation, mm. if there are people we have to protect je jealously mm. at the future of this country, right. yeah. if your building is jailed over to Julius and the Jenganga Nani, mm. is Barbara Poor Poor Mahosi should have Najanga Nani, mm. if we don't treat children well and protect them. Mm. Then we don't have a country in the future. Wow. Mm. Steve, do we have anyone talking uh, or asking anything on the YouTube or WhatsApp? Let's see. Ah, people watching, Jos <laughs> Patkea. <laughs> this is Joski Mwenyewe. Joski, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Yes, there are need to more friendship-driven parenthood. However, 
okay however the parents need to play their role as parents offer guidance and counsel to the child i think he's referring to the topic of uh -huh. parenting uh -huh. as the guests say different homes have different styles of doing this but peer home i fi kwa kama jela parenting <laughs> should not be militarized militarized <laughs> Just keep on and black one. Other than making your program digital, how else can you make it accessible to more young people without access to digital digital facilities? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro, you don't have to wait for the election electioneering period to introduce yourself to the public. Leo Kiwanja, imekwaya Joski. How do we make young people from ta access such opportunities like you have? Now he has commented about parenting, mm. but he's also talking, asking about, he's saying you don't have to wait for the electioneering period to introduce yourself to the public. I think uh, when you said that uh, you had like a short period during by election mm -hmm. last time. Yeah, and then he's also saying, uh, how do we make young people from ta access such opportunities like you have? Mm. So I am not sure which opportunity is it. Um accessing opportunities. <laughs> Joshua, mm -hmm. where Jamani mm mekuonu -hmm. kika kundai go na safir. Yeah. And Joshua, you know, sometimes what with the knee, any will kuja to kacha guliwa. Joshua. True. Easy programs no gondogo zen you na find Pepsi Sisi pro ndogo ndogo zenye unafanya hapa pale ndio tu u expose mzee. Mtu ataona eh kitu fulani Facebook. Kando baadhi watu wambiwa be very careful with your network. Cuz normally is your network. Ndio. Sasa hizi unajua be very careful na post nini status. Be very careful na post nini Facebook because that is where people really get to know the real you. Ndio. If you're always posting about sex or pornography content or fake you. Yes 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 yes. Someone just kwanga tuone zambia watu nafanya kitu fulani hivi yeah, yeah. na iko hivi that's kwa hiyo tunashukuru mtu na reach out eh Josh unaweza kuaje party ya mm. hii program yako si ndio mm. like i remember when you were doing mapping yeah. and kuna follow sana ukienda hadi kuzifanya think kuna time nyingi nimekuona huko pande za ukambani yeah but like when makweni kuna hapa hivi westlands mm -hmm. yeah. no follow sana so unajua the father sasa hizi najua ulikuwa unafanya hiyo mapping yeah sasa hizi mtu akini reach out na niulize mnajua mtu anaweza fanya kitu kama who comes to my mind first Jo. <laughs> because me nisha iona, si ndio? So, tuko tu open to same vitu zenye tunafanya vizuri mm. about um, people accessing these kind of opportunities. Hones ni kujituma. Kujituma. Kujituma as there are so many things that are unanga online. Mm. Um unaambi unahitajika ku apply, unaweza ku apply, una pinyi mifika part za essays, mm. una unatoka. Una. Jua tu watu wengi utoka. So, yeah. just be among the few when you tazimaliza. Yeah. Leo uta miss kesho ta miss kesho kuna za miss but how ta miss milele and even sometimes unaweza unaweza miss milele yeah but <laughs> the more you are writing these things you are even perfecting yourself maybe on your writing skills mm -hmm. maybe you never know tomorrow utasema pale uko a very good speaker because leo niko hapa hivi mtu ana watch mimi nasema tu eh Joshua anaweza kuwa moderator mfiti sana si sasa tena kuja tu moderate kitu fulani mimi nimekuja tu ku learn by them maisha na kwa tu yani vitu zina connecting tu ukita kwa show yako Josh yeah, yeah. with all the due respect you call a Kenyan sasa angesikia na NTV ama wapi angechukua post ya post kwa status mm. ukinipatia post yako that is the same thing i should do we should need we need to start valuing everything ndio yeah. umeniambia tupata na hapa hivi by 2 show inaanza yeah. the best thing to do is just to be there by 2 ndio yeah. is a gentleman's agreement nimefika hapo hivyo because sijui nani who is watching True. it could be 10 50 100 people you never know who is watching yeah yeah so yeah these little little things that people do i always tell people mm. the little, little things you do in your small way be mm. it in your family in your community they always add up to something It's and true. you never know who is watching true. who is seeing yes like for example my travelings people think that i just get them on silver blood mm. no it it originates from things have done before na pia hiyo kujituma umesema there are things online that you can apply and you are out there look if you really want something go for it mm. look out what is it that i can apply that is relevant to mm. me to mm -hmm. what i do mm -hmm. so go up and you know how applying those things is not easy True. the essays are so demanding mm. like time consuming and kambasa you mm -hmm. can even even stay overnight yes writing them doing the essay and, and you have a 
timeline. Mm -hmm. I feel like three, my first traveling was to New York. Mm -hmm. My first ever travel. And I had applied three times, mm -hmm. failing every year because it was a program that was happening every year. So I failed three times and I'm like, ah, I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. Kept trying. The fourth one, I, 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 well, got, I, got, I got a congratulatory message. And yes. I, I didn't believe it. And I'm like, really? I, do have I, I, went, to, I went to Steve. This. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Steve to, many times, Steve, can you check if this thing is really genuine? Is it really So, yeah, so Nikujituma now, never to give up and all that. And, um, yeah, and many people apply for these things. No, you are check the eligibility. Mm. Are you eligible? Mm. So I think you know I'm saying it's for the people age between twenty four to thirty five. Exactly. And you you are thirty six. Mm -hmm. That's a preliminary knockout. True, true. Age make a knockout mm. already. Mm. They don't even read you. Mm. So mm. just make sure you are eligible. Read the eligibility criteria. How many things have they listed there? Six. Mm. Number one, check. Number two, check. Ukiona tu moja uja qualify wachana na kabisa you will not those people don't give a damn mm. let's proceed <laughs> thank you guys thank you Joski for watching this is Okot Opondo himself sharing and giving he's a very brilliant guy and very intelligent he's doing amazing stuff so Opondo mm -hmm. your family are you married not yet not yet not yet. are you planning to dating yes. Yes, of course, dating. Yeah. Um, I think I'll be very open why I'm not married by now. Yeah. Uh, in fact, marriage is a competition. Yeah. But for my side, I think it's totally different. Mm. Uh, when my dad died, yeah. I had to step in and take over the family. True. You know, being born in Africa, mm. I'll tell my firstborn, you are not just a child. Mm. You are an assistant parent. <laughs> okay. In you Africa, a firstborn is assistant. To be honest, because mm. by the time you go secondary school, you should have to move and there to do work when you primary school meeting. Yeah. Mm. So as a firstborn, at a point, you have to sacrifice certain things. True. So when my dad died, um, I have like about six siblings in my Yeah. And I said, you know what? These kids must get education. Mm. That's something that I can guarantee them, and I'll give it my best. Yeah. I'm putting aside everything. Actually, I'm going to do I mean, even if you want to own the videos, it's a good thing. And I'm happy. And I'm mm. happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Mm. Wow. But at least you are dating. Of How course. long have you been dating? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think since you mean the date. I'm going to get a degree program. Degree program? Degree program. Degree program. I don't know if you have a degree. I'm going to get a master's. Yeah. I'm going to get a master's. Okay. Interesting. Do you love football? A lot. What are your teams? Jana to me chap a little Chelsea Chelsea team Kubwa. Where is Chelsea? Me move for Chelsea. The Blues. The Blues. Me have to support Chelsea. Me buy a jersey. I did a drop by Nikiwa class. Two class five. I'm class six. Yeah. Me have to support Chelsea. Back at home, I support City Stars. Mhm. Na badi mo kona Dream Sun Dreamoja Kubwa na yaku own a football team in Kenya. Ah, in Kenya. In Kenya, have to own a football. Not even in Kibra. In Kenya. I mean, Kibra is in Kenya. Yeah. So I want to own. I'm not actually into party. To look at football, any football ever when you can come a kazi. Yeah, you spirit when you become a football, you give your what you must then you could palate when you have waste time. When you look at Europe, you learn a treat footer, a mother, a Latin America, a mother, a mother, any different places too. Yeah, football is a little bit serious and a city may go to the period of which is there. So you are hoping to own a football, a football club in Kenya, yes, in future, one day, one day, mm. God willing, God willing. Oh, yeah. what's your favorite food? My favorite food is chapati and then. 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 That's usually my email, the best way to catch up now. I say, yeah, I a bondo or something from Miriam. Okay. I have been funny, she's going to Yeah. Yeah, for you, I to cut it too. Wakona moja ma binara kama wakumi to pick it in story. Yeah, for you, I need to cut it in Cool. What do you do during your free time? During my free time, I'm going to pick a story and I'm going to tell a storyteller. 
na watoto na watoto wadogo okay mimi by the way napenda watoto sana hata sasa ningekuwa niko free ah. i just i just call a certain school to in advance na mwambie ni just come to get story na watoto oh watoto wa what age? primary school primary eh, let me say i'm so good na watoto wa class 5 kurudi chini for storytelling yeah yeah mimi napenda tena ile you know because they are very innocent and they are very innocent and eh, they are very curious very no? curious na kukuuliza by the way the singing of selection violence eh, you know yeah. those children already that is history yeah that's because hata mtoto tuseme kama watu mtoto mwenye born 1999 kupanda mm. bombla school vitu wanasomea kwa vitabu unapeleka mtu pale rail zinaambia by the way ushasikia bombla na kwa maana tu stage ni tonga bombla yeah kama hapa ndio penye america yeah. embassy ile kwanga ile bomio tu mm. kitu ni kwanga ukweli eh hata sasa tu mtoto wa primary school most class 7 school dijini mm. hawa watoto wako kwa time ya 27 mm. to them these things are stories so we have to share these good stories na wao yeah. wajue penye tumetoka because we do say we can't know where we are heading to you don't know where we are coming, coming from and we have to share this stories now to where mm. do you have any regrets in life aki hakuna hakuna mimi mimi just okay mu calculate vitu mingi sana hapo mimi leo nimeacha hata bila tu ni invite hapa eh i take time kwanza nijiulize what is in for me and which value am i adding to joshua yeah naenda tu pale kuongea because naweza ongea in fact mm. Ninge generalize vizuri mimi ninge kurecommendia mtu. Okay. Nikwambia I think for now mm. piga story na nani. Okay. But pia nilijua eh hey, Josh pia ni mtu mjanja. Baada ya mimi select pia nimeshanichunguza ndio tuna mtu ndio sasa ndio. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Okay. Mm. We are winding up Steve. Anything else? Let's see ladies and gentlemen this is Opondo Okok himself. Sisi mtani. This is the only place where you get people telling their own stories in their own perspective. Exactly. Stories for us by <laughs> us and mm, with mm. us. Keep it locked. Mm. Ah, Alex Oburu. No, yeah, Alex Oburu. Keeping time is very important. <laughs> and I refer to you the keeping time yako. Uh-huh. Josh, you are swell your marriage. Inakupa nakupatanga off guard. Inakupatanga off guard. Okay. <laughs> Sasa Alex Oburu ni boyfriend mfiti sana by the way. Hakuna mjua. Wewe unamtambua. Nisha interact naye hapo hivi mtani. Yeah. Wana running hizi vitu za um, most influential person in Kibra. Okay. Kama ushaona hiyo A Town Awards. Yeah, yeah. Sasa yeye alikuwa na Iran. Very good social media strategy tu kijana. Okay. Mm. Amesema keeping time is very important. He's a very big good time keeper yeye mwenyewe. Yeah, big up, big up Alex Oburu, big up Josh Pat Care. Thank you guys for staying long. This is Kibira News Network, your number one Kibira News channel. So, Pondo to Kimalizia, mm. is there anything else that I've not asked you that you'd like to share to the people? Um Mimi nasema tu hivi. Yeah. Unajua? Mm. Challenges ni mo. Yeah. Mazina tusifanye challenges. Mm. Zitufanye tusahau sisi ni binadamu. Mm. Sawa Josh? Yeah. Um hii time ya politics unaenda kujionea mambo mingi sana. Hizi ndio zile time zenye Oliver Sadi nitakumbuka naiba wangu hata mimi sikuongelea mambo ya ukabila hapa kwa isho yako. Yeah. Acha niongee sasa ingine nyati na kuunga dipa. Yeah. Even ina community penye kuna penye kuna tu tribe moja tena watu wanaanza kugawana na kwa clans. Mm. Sijui tena kwa Daudi, sijui kwa nini, unajua? Yeah. So um hii time ya siasa isikuwa reason for you ku turn against your own neighbor against your own friend mm. let us stand together kura ita come itapita kenya lazima isonge mbele yeah. sasa hizi mvua ikinyesha inatunyeshia sisi wote yeah. uh, njai kikuje na to strike sisi wote corona yeah. ijui mtu ni wa dini gani ni wa kabila gani yeah. uko na miaka ngapi tupomani na challenge let's make poverty and our real life challenges our enemies mm. but si binadamu wenzako okay mm. what should kibira people know or think of before they elect somebody a leader akia watu bana tuangalie mtu mwingine za tusafu how do you know standards zilisetiwa how do you know who you and I that tusafu unajua ma politicians wanakuja na mauongo mingi na ma promises mingi na pengine ni mtu hujajua kwa udhani utajuaje huyu ndio mtu mzuri na hizi false promises um akisha ingia pale ameruka 
I think any 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 human being ana kuanga na the ability to yeah. make a judgment. Yeah. Sindiwe. Yes, I was a come to the life for the first time. Mm. But Joshua when I meet you for the first time I can tell mwenye mtu mtu mpoa na mtu mbaya. Kila kitu tu interaction tu zile maswali na kujivizana, sindiwe? Kitu tu poa ni mimi ningetaka sana through program kama hii tu Kibera News Network. Yeah. Uh, KNN. Yeah an equivalent of our CNN huko mtani. Yeah. Joshua I think uko na role kubwa sana ya kuplay for election. And I mean when you can even help us mm. convince aspirants pamoja yeah. to ask mm. to ulize maswali. Yeah. Ukisikia tu mtu vile anajibu kitu, you can even tell who mtu tunaenda naye wapi. Ndio. Kwa hiyo kibera take your time mimi sijui wewe ni wapati gani, mm. sijui wewe una lean kwa nani. But regardless of your lean kwa wake, just make the right decision. Yeah. You need to make the same. Just make the right decision. Mm. Steve, do you have anything else or we can end it here? Thank you very much guys for watching. This has been Kibira News Network, your number one Kibira News channel. The program Sisi Mtani. We've been coming to you live on YouTube from Uweza Foundation. Thank you very much. Till we meet again next week, it has been me, your host, o Ogure Joshua. Thank you very much, my guest. Asante sana. Bye.